are in Metuchen, New Jersey, in the middle of the emergence in 2013 of the Brood 2 17-year periodic cicadas, called by scientists Magicicada septendecim. Septendecim part means 17. The Magicicada part means that scientists too knew that these were a magical species, a magical creature. For what other animal in the world comes out only once every 17 years? Think about it. Right now, these guys are climbing out of the ground, going up to the tops of trees, singing, singing, and singing. And you're going to hear it now for a few weeks, then they're going to go away. They won't be back for 17 years. Females will lay eggs, they'll drop down to the ground, tiny little ant-sized larvae are going to crawl down and they're going to be alive. These cicadas are going to be alive underground, slowly growing for 17 years before coming up again in 2030 to start the whole thing again. So this really is something quite amazing. Some people don't like them. They think it's the yuckiest thing they could imagine, like a plague of gross little creepy bugs that are just so, uh, you know, they're not even afraid of us. They just climb on us. They just crawl around. They don't even fly away. Yuck! and then they're all dead and you crush them with your feet as you walk around the garden. Some people think it's gross. Others think it's just so cool. Someone like the entomologist H.A. Aller, who after hearing them come out in 1920, he said, you know, this is one of the greatest moments of my life. You know, I wouldn't either say that all entomologists say things like this. He was a rare scientist who spoke in his scientific papers with emotional language, with a real sense of appreciation for the rare beauty of this phenomenon. He said, this Experiencing this emergence was like witnessing the arrival of a great comet, something that only happens a few times in your life. People are amazed by this, this kind of sound, this, this happening, but very rarely does anyone consider the music of it, just how beautiful this really is. So listen. What do you hear? At first it's just like noise. But actually, when you start to pay attention, you'll learn there's three different periodic cicada species, each making a different sound, coming out at a different time of day. And each species, in turn, has two to three separate different sounds. And those are part of the complicated mating ritual. The males have three different sounds per species, and the females make a tiny wing flick in between the male sound to spur them on to the next sound. Who knew any of this stuff? It was only discovered 17 years ago by John Cooley and David Marshall. In the background, we hear Magicicada septendecim. One high tone. That high tone, one continuous note, is all made up out of a single sound. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. You hear millions of pharaohs and you get Pharaoh. The tail breaks off. The second one we're hearing much more in the afternoon is Magicicada cassini. They go and they start to synchronize in waves of white noise. They're going to do that in about an hour or two from now. And in the coming weeks, there'll be more and more of them, and the synchronization will be more pronounced. Why does one species all blend into a drone and the other species synchronizes in waves of percussive sound? We don't know. They each use their sound to separate themselves, distinguish themselves from the other. But for me, as a musician who's really influenced by the sounds of nature, I really um, hear it as a vast, natural, emergent music. And I really like the idea of joining into this melee, trying to make some sound joins with it. In the past, I've done projects on birds, on whales, and now cicadas. Each project involves a CD and a book. The latest book is called Bug Music, How Insects Gave Us Rhythm and Noise, and sort of an alternative cultural musical history about how noise, rhythm, buzz, scratch, click, these are all musical elements that people both dislike and like, both hate and love, and musically they're important sounds that we try and find a way into using. In the past, I played a lot of clarinet and saxophone along with different creatures. This time I found that playing an electronic instrument like the iPad really finds a way into the musical world of the cicadas. So maybe I'll pull it out now and see what happens.
playing it into that speaker over there. 